John chapter 1. Amen. Juan capítulo 1. When you have it, give me an amen. Cuando lo tenga, diga amen. All right. John chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the word. In el principio había el verbo. And the word was with God. Y el verbo estaba con Dios. And the word. Y el verbo. Was God. Era Dios. I'll read it again. Lo leemos otra In vez. the beginning was the word. Al principio había el verbo. And the word was with God. Y el verbo estaba con Dios. And the word was God. Y el verbo era Dios. Go to verse 14. Vámonos para acá. Eh, verso 14. And the word y el verbo became flesh se hizo carne and dwelt among us y habitó por encima de nosotros. and we beheld his glory vimos su gloria as the glory of the only begotten of the Father full of grace and truth lleno de gracia y verdad here we see in the beginning was the word Al principio había el verbo. and verse 14 says the word became flesh y en verso 14 era el verbo se convirtió en carne. meaning it became body que quiere decir que se hizo en cuerpo. that which was invisible became visible Eso lo que era invis invisible, ahora era visible. it became flesh se hizo carne. in physical form en una forma físico. and he says John writes and he dwelt among us y dijo Juan, que él habitaba en medio de nosotros. He walked with us. Él caminaba con nosotros. He talked with us. Él hablaba con We nosotros. touched him. Nosotros lo podíamos We tocar. ate with him. Oh. Comimos con él. We drank with him. Bebimos con él. He was with us. Él estaba con nosotros. And it fulfilled the prophecy. Y llenó la profecía. Of Isaiah chapter 7 verse 14. De Isaías capítulo 7 verso 14. Where it says behold. Donde dice. The virgin. El virgen shall have a child y va a tener un hijo. and she shall call his name Emmanuel y lo iba a llamar Emmanuel, which means God with us que quiere decir Dios con nosotros. for the first time Por la primera vez, God Almighty Dios Omnigrande came and dwelt among us Vino y habitó en medio de nosotros. He became a man. Él se hizo hombre. and walked where man walked y andaba donde andaba hombre. The word became flesh. El verbo se hizo carne. And the Bible says that the, 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 the angel Gabriel, y la Biblia dice que el ángel Gabriel said, you're going to have a son, Mary. Dijo, María, tú vas a tener un hijo. And you're going to call his name Jesus. Y tú lo vas a llamar Jesús. For he shall save his people from their sins. Porque él va a salvar a su gente de su pecado. So what is the name of the word? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. ¿Cuál es el nombre de la palabra? Digan Jesús. Jesús. Hallelujah. Listen. I don't think I need to interpret them. Yeah. Listen. The word became flesh and then that word's name is Jesus. Amen. Esa palabra es Jesús. Jesus is the word. Jesús es la palabra. Let's go back to chapter 1. Verse 1. Capítulo 1. What's the word's name? Jesus. John chapter 1. In the beginning was what? The word. Okay. What's his name? So is it okay if we say Jesus? Amen. Every time we see where it says word, we can say Jesus. Yes or no? Amen. Okay. In the beginning was Jesus. Watch this. And Jesus was with God. And Jesus was God. Amen. Jesus is God Jesus in the flesh. Es Dios en la carne. You guys get that? Yes or no? Jesus was the, God was the word and the word was God. Dios era la palabra y la palabra era Dios. In the Greek, en el griego, the New Testament is written in Greek, remember. En el Nuevo Testamento, originalmente lo escribieron en griego. It says here, the word was God. Aquí dice, la palabra era Dios. In the Greek it says, and God was the word. Y en griego dice que la palabra Hallelujah. era Dios. It's the same thing, the word was God and God was the word. Hallelujah. La palabra era Dios y Dios es la palabra. So Jesus is God himself. Entonces Jesús es Dios. I don't understand that. Don't worry about it. You just pray. The Holy Spirit will give you revelation. Jesus is God. Jesus is Dios. And to compare him to another religious figure is a joke. Y para compararlo en otra figura Hallelujah. religiosa es un, un chiste. I'm sorry, I forgot my interpreter. Yeah. Now, 
Listen, you can't compare Jesus to no other religious figure. Tú no puedes comparar a Jesús con ningún otra figura. Jesus is God. Jesús es Dios. You can't compare him to nobody else. Tú no lo puedes comparar he con nadie. He stands alone. Él se para solo. He, in the beginning was Jesus. Al principio había Jesús. Jesus was with God and Jesus was God. Jesús estaba con Dios y Dios es Amen. Jesús. The mystery of the Trinity. El misterio de la Trinidad. Father. Padre. Son. Hijo. Holy Spirit. Espíritu Santo. You say, I don't, is God one or there's three gods? Uno puede decir, Dios es uno o los tres son uno. One God. Un solo Dios. Three persons. Tres personas. Everyone say, one God. One God. Three persons. Three persons. Father. Padre. Son. Hijo. Holy Spirit. Espíritu Santo. You say, I don't understand that. Quizá tú no lo entiendes. Don't worry about it. You're never going to understand it. No te preocupes. Nunca lo vas a entender. Because it's, it, it's, it's beyond a little brain. You know, a little brain. It's too Porque small. Porque es más allá que nosotros podemos entender. Who can understand the infinite God? ¿Quién puede entender un Dios infinito? You can't understand this divine God. Tú no puedes entender este Dios divino. Thank God he has given us a little revelation. Gracias a Dios que él nos ha dado un poquito de revelación. And with that, with that little revelation you're able to live a victorious life. Y con ese poquito de revelación tú puedes vivir una vida victoriosa. Our God is infinite. Pero Dios es infinito. You are finite. Tú eres finito. How can finite understand infinity? ¿Cómo una persona finito puedes entender una persona infinito. Hello. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Verse two. Verse two. He was in the beginning with God. Él estaba en el principio con Dios. Who's he? ¿Quién es él? Jesus. Jesus. So, Jesus was in the beginning with God. Jesus estaba en el principio con Dios. Are you guys seeing this clear? Ustedes lo pueden ver claro. Everyone say crystal. Crystal. Yeah, crystal clear. Amen. He was with God. Él estaba con Dios. Watch this. Jessica and Jorge, come over here, please. Husband and wife. Hallelujah. The Lugos in the house. Verse 3. All things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. Todas las cosas fueron hechas por medio de él y sin él nada estaba hecho lo que estaba hecho. Aleluya. So we see there in verse 3, all things were made through Jesus. Todas cosas se hicieron a través de Jesús. Look, and without Jesus, y sin Jesús, nothing was made that was made. Nada se podía crear. So he's the creator of the heavens. Él es el creador de los cielos. He's the creator of the earth. Él es el creador de la tierra. The sun, the moon, the stars. Eh, la luna, el sol, las estrellas. He's the one that created everything. Él es el que creó todo. All things. Toda cosa. Were made through him. Se hicieron a través de él. All things includes you. Yes. Toda cosa te incluye a ti. Are ¿sí? you are you something? Tú eres algo. And he created all things. Y él creó todas cosas. Do I have thing number one and thing number two here? <laughs> God created you, amen. Dios te creó a ti. He created all of us. Él creó a todos nosotros. If he created you, then why are you living without him? Si él te creó a ti, ¿por qué tú estás viviendo sin él? Hello. Hello. Can I, can I pray in tongues or we're we going to act religious today? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because sometimes when, when that anointing starts hitting, I have to go into tongues because English is not enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Listen, all things were created by Jesus. Todas cosas fueron creado por Jesús. Through Jesus. A través de Jesús. And for Jesus. Y para Jesús. The book of Colossians says that. El libro de Colosenses lo dice. All things were made by him, through him, and for him. Todas cosas se hicieron para él, a través de él, y por él. You were made by Christ, through Christ, and for Christ. Tú fuiste hecho para Dios, a través de Dios, y por Dios. Isaiah 43 says, we were made and created for his glory. Isaías 43 dijo, nosotros fuimos creados para su gloria. Hallelujah. Say, I've been made for his glory. Come on. Now. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. El principio and, era Dios. And in front of her. And the Word was God. Y el, y la palabra era Dios. So you have, in the beginning was the Word. Tiene, al principio era la palabra. And the Word was with God, too. Y la palabra estaba con Dios. But then the Word was God, one. Y después la palabra era Dios, the, uno. The mystery of the Trinity. El, mini, el misterio de la Trinidad. They're one, but then they're three. Son uno, pero también son tres. The Bible shows us 
that they are one and then they show us separate at the same time. La Biblia enseña que son uno y después también enseña que son separados. That's what the Bible teaches. Eso es lo que enseña la Biblia. I can't understand everything, but this is what the word shows. Yo no puedo entender todo, pero eso es lo que enseña la palabra. Listen, the sun outside. La luz eh, el sol afuera. The sun outside. El sol afuera. You have the sun. Tú tienes el sol. You have the light. Tú tienes la luz. Of the sun. Del sol. And then you feel the heat de, of the sun. Y después tú sientes el calentor del sol. Amen. The sun. El sol. Is the father. Es el padre. The light. La luz. Is God the son. Es el hijo. And the heat that you feel, the y presence el, el that you feel, el calentor, la presencia que tú puedes sentir, is the Holy Spirit. Es el Espíritu Santo. Are you with me? Están conmigo. One sun. Un sol. Three manifestations. Tres manifestaciones. Hallelujah. The one that you feel is the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lo que tú puedes sentir es el poder y presencia del Espíritu Santo. The light. Jesus said, "I am the light of the world." La luz. Jesús dijo, "Yo soy la luz." Del mundo. And the father is the big boss, amen. Y el padre es el jefe grande. He is the one that gives the orders. Él es que da los órdenes. Now watch this, verse four. In him, in Jesus, was life, and the life was the light of men. So we see here. Aquí podemos ver. He is life. Él es la vida. Jesus doesn't have life. Jesús no tiene vida. Jesus is life. Jesus es vida. If someone says, "I want to experience life," si alguien dice yo quiero experimentar vida, you can't experience it apart from the life. Tú no puedes experimentarlo aparte de la vida. Because Jesus said, "I am the life." Porque Jesús dijo yo soy la vida. You say, "I want to know the way." Tú dices yo quiero saber eh, el camino. El camino. Jesus said, I am the way. Jesús dice, yo soy el camino. You say, I want to just know truth. I, wanna, I don't know all these religions and all these de denominations. What is the truth? Tú dice, yo quiero saber verdad. ¿Cuál es la verdad? Jesus said, I am the truth. Jesús dice, yo soy la verdad. He said, I just want to experience life. Tú dice, yo solamente quiero experimentar la vida. He says, I am life. Él dice, yo soy la vida. I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. Yo soy la manera, yo soy la verdad, yo soy la vida. Jesus said, I'm the light of the world. Jesús dice, yo soy la luz del mundo. No Jesus, no light. No Jesús, no hay luz. No Jesus, no life. No Jesús, no hay vida. He is life. Él es vida. So you can't live apart from the life. Entonces tú no puedes vivir aparte de la vida. Now, Verse 5, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man, verse 6, there was a man sent from God, sent from God, whose name was John. This man came up for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. So John the Baptist's ministry... Juan el Bautista, el ministerio de él... Was to prepare the way for the Lord. Era para preparar el, para camino. el camino para el Señor. John was six months older than Jesus. Juan solamente le llevaba seis meses a Jesús. His ministry started first. Su ministerio comenzó primero. And he went to prepare the hearts of the people. Y él fue a preparar los corazones de la gente. So that when Jesus came on the scene, para que cuando Jesús llegaba, the hearts were ready to receive his word. Los corazones estaban listos para escuchar la palabra. John said, "I'm not the light." Jesús di eh, Juan dijo, "Yo no soy la luz." I only came to tell you about the light. Yo solamente vino para decirte de la luz. To tell you. That's the light. Para decirte, eso es la luz. That's the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Eso es el cordero de Dios que quita todo pecado del mundo. His ministry was to testify about his ministry, Jesus. El ministerio de Juan era para testificar del del ministerio de Jesús. Verse nine. That was the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. Esa fue la luz verdadera que trae luz y le da luz a todo hombre que viene a la tierra. So Jesus, entonces Jesús, is the light, es la luz, that lights up every man, que brilla a todo hombre, that comes into the world, que entra. Apart from Christ, aparte de Cristo, we are in darkness. Estamos en oscuridad. But when you receive Christ, pero cuando tú recibes a Cristo, the light that lights up every man lights you up. Amen. La luz que ilumina a todo hombre te ilumina a ti. I want you to say, Lord, light me up. Come on, light me up. Light me up. 
I think she, she wants to kiss me or something, right? <laughs> okay. Maybe, maybe. I don't Minister. <laughs> Dear Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. Here we see that Jesus created the world, but when he came to the world, the world didn't recognize him. They didn't know the creator is walking with us here. Jesus creó el mundo. Go ahead. Yeah. You interpret now. Hallelujah. Just keep going. Don't worry about it. <laughs> the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. El vino a su, su propio y su propio no lo re, re recibieron. Verse 12. But as many as received him. Por cuantos que lo recibieron. To them. A ellos. He gave the right. Él le dio la, el derecho. To become children of God. Para ser hijos de Dios. To those who believe in his name. A ellos que creían en su nombre. So not everyone is children of God. Entonces eso quiere decir que no todo el mundo son hijos de Dios. There's 6.7 billion people Hay 6.7 billones de personas aquí en este, en este mundo. Not everyone is a child of God. No todo el mundo es un hijo de Dios. You say what? Tú dices ¿qué? What does the Bible say? ¿Qué es lo que dice la Biblia? As many as received him. Por cuantos que lo han recibido. To them he gave the power to a become. A ellos. He gave the power to become sons of God. A ellos le dio el poder para ser Hijo de Dios. Only those who receive him. Solamente ellos que los reciben. You can reject him. Tú lo puedes rechazar. Or you can receive him. O tú lo puedes recibir. Your choice. Tú tienes la opción. But when you choose to receive him. Pero cuando tú decides recibirlo. Your life is transformed. Tu vida se transforma. You are made a new creation in Christ. Tú te haces una nueva criatura en Cristo. It says in verse 13. Who were born not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of God que fueron hechos no por sangre no por la voluntad de carne ni por la voluntad de un hombre pero la voluntad de Dios listen your physical birth tu uh, nacimiento físico you didn't choose it tu no lo decidiste your parents chose it tu, los padres tuyos decidieron eso your spiritual birth tu nacimiento espiritual you choose it Tú toma la opción. Your natural birth you don't choose, your spiritual birth you choose. Tu nacimiento natural tú no toma la decisión, pero tu nacimiento espiritual tú lo decides. There's two birthdays. Hay dos cumpleaños. Your physical birthday. Lo de físico. And your spiritual birthday. Y lo de espiritual. One is not by choice, the other is. Uno no es por decisión y la otra es. Hallelujah. Jesus is a gift. Jesús es un regalo. For God so loved the world that He gave. Que Dios amó tanto el mundo que él dio. That whoever believes in Him. Que a él que cree en él. Shall not perish but have everlasting life. No va a morir sino va a tener vida eterna. Jesus is a gift that must be received. Jesús es un regalo que lo tiene que recibir. By grace through faith. Por gracia a través de fe. Amen. That's a gift sent from the Father. Eso es un regalo mandado de su padre. And you must receive it, amen? Y tú los tienes que recibir. The price has been paid. El precio fue pago. The blood has been shed. El, el sangre fue derramado. All you have to do now is receive. Solamente tú los tienes que recibir. That which Christ died for, amen? Por eso que murió Cristo. Now, verse 15. John bore witness of him and cried out saying, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me is preferred before me, for he was before me. Hallelujah. Here we see that John says, Aquí podemos ver que Juan dijo, Jesus is higher rank than I am. Jesús tiene un rango más alto que lo que yo tengo. Why? ¿Por qué? Because he was before me. Porque él estaba antes de mí. Yeah, but John was older than Jesus. Sí, pero Juan le llevaba seis meses a Jesús. But John knew. Pero Juan sabía. In the beginning was the word. Que al principio fue el verbo. And the word was with God. Y el verbo fue con Dios. And the word was God. Y el verbo era Dios. John had the revelation. John the Baptist had the revelation that Jesus is God Himself in the flesh. Juan tuvo la revelación que Jesús era Dios en la carne. Go to First Timothy chapter three verse sixteen. Primero de Timoteo. Capítulo 3, versículo 16. 1 Timothy, chapter 3, verse 16. It says, and without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God, 
was manifested in the flesh. Dios se manifestó en la carne. That's a mighty mystery. Es un ministerio bien grande. That the unlimited God que un Dios sin limites became limited in the seed of a woman. Se hizo limitado de forma de una semilla adentro de una mujer. The creator el creador was created. Fue creado. The unlimited one el que no tenía limites became limited in the seed of a woman's womb. Se hizo limitado en la semilla the de un, una mujer. The unseen one el que no se puede ver now was about to be made seen where ahora, you can see. Ahora se podía ver. The power of the Holy Spirit el poder del Espíritu Santo to transform God para transformar a Dios and make him into a little seed y envolverlo en una semilla my God mi Dios that's the power of the Holy Spirit eso es el poder del Espíritu Santo when the angel appeared to Mary cuando el ángel vino a María he told her él le dijo you're going to have a son tú vas a tener un hijo she said how can this be y ella dijo cómo puede ser esto I don't know a man si yo no conozco un hombre the angel said the power of the highest shall come upon you el, el ángel le dijo el, el poder de a él que es bien grande va a venir sobre ti the power of the highest el poder del más alto go to Luke chapter 1 quickly Lucas capítulo 1 Luke chapter 1 the power of the highest shall come upon you and that which you shall conceive shall be called the Son of God. Luke chapter 1, verse 35. Verse 34, she says, how can this be? Verse 35, the power of the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. And the Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Look at verse 36. Luke chapter 1, verse 36. Now indeed Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. Here we see that Elizabeth Aquí podemos ver que Elizabeth was barren. Eh, no podía tener hijo. She was old. Era vieja. They couldn't have no children. No podía tener hijo. But God produced a miracle. Pero Dios produció un milagro. How many know that God is a God of miracles? ¿Cuántos ustedes saben que Dios es un Dios de milagros? I said, how many know that God is a God of miracles? ¿Cuántos ustedes saben que Dios es un Dios de milagros? They called her barren. Ellos le llamaron a ella estéril. But when, when God promises something, it shall come to pass. Pero cuando Dios te prometa algo, se va a cumplir. I, I don't care what the doctor said. A mí no me importa lo que te dice el doctor. I don't care what your friend said. A mí no me importa lo que te dicen los amigos. I don't care what your mother and father said. A mí no me importa lo que te dijeron tu madre y tu padre. If God said it, He gonna do it. Amen. Si Dios lo dijo, él lo va a hacer. The Bible says that they called her barren. La Biblia dice que lo llamaron a ella estéril. You might be barren and experiencing dry lands right now. Quizás tú eres estéril y pasando por tierra seca ahora mismo. But when you serve the God of miracles, pero cuando tú sirves a un Dios de milagros, He will make a way in the desert. Él va a hacer unas sendas en medio del desierto. He will make waters flow in the desert. Él va a fluir aguas en medio del desierto. He will heal your body. Él te va a sanar su cuerpo. He will deliver your body. Él te va a liberar su cuerpo. He will break addiction off of you by the sobre ti. power of the Holy Ghost a través del poder del and God's Santo. people said amen. El de Dios dice amen our God is a God of miracles Nuestro Dios es un Dios de milagros. the birth of Jesus was a miracle El nacimiento de Jesús fue un milagro. the life of Jesus was a miracle La vida de Jesús fue un milagro. his death, burial and resurrection was a miracle Su muerte y resurrección fue un milagro. Everything was a miracle. Todo fue milagro. From the birth to the resurrection. Desde el nacimiento hasta la resurrección. Hallelujah. This is the same God you and I serve. Esto es el mismo Dios que tú y yo servimos. The God of miracles, amen. Dios de milagros, amen. And He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Y él es lo mismo ayer, hoy y para siempre. God has not changed. Dios no ha cambiado. He's the same. Él es lo mismo. And the Bible declares right here in verse 36. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has conceived the son in her old age, and now is the sixth month of her who was called barren. Verse 37. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Hallelujah. 
Con Dios nada es imposible. I said with God, nothing will be impossible. Con Dios nada es imposible. Am I talking to a bunch of believers here? Yes or no? Estoy hablando a un montón de creyentes aquí. I said with God, nothing will be impossible. Con Dios nada es imposible. What's impossible with man is possible with God. Amen. Lo que es imposible con hombre no es imposible con Dios. I said what's impossible with man is possible with God. Lo que es imposible con hombre es posible con Dios. Nothing is impossible to him that believes. Hallelujah. Nada es imposible para el que are, cree. Are you a believer? Tú crees. Are you declaring 2018 a year of glory for your life? Tú estás declarando el año 2018 un año de gloria I para tu vida. I don't know what situation you're facing this afternoon. Yo no sé cuál situación tú estás mirando But este I'm día. here to tell that the God of miracles will come through for you. Amen. Pero yo te estoy diciendo que Dios tiene milagro para ti. When the doctor says impossible, that's when God steps in and makes it possible. Amen. Cuando el doctor Hallelujah. te dice a ti que es imposible, eso es cuando Dios Come on. entra y lo hace posible. My God is the one that raises the dead. Hallelujah. Mi Dios es un Dios que levanta los muertos. I said my God is the God that raises the dead. Mi Dios es un Dios que levanta los muertos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I might have to raise some dead folks this afternoon. Quizá yo tengo que levantar un muerto hoy. Listen, Jesus, Lazarus was dead four days. Lázaro fue muerte, muerto por tres días. But with God, nothing is impossible. Pero con Dios nada es imposible. He said, remove the stone. Él dijo, quita esa piedra. Martha, his sister, said, Lord, he's going to smell. He's been there for four days. Marta, la hermana, le dijo, el bajo el él estaba ahí. Días. He said, woman, didn't I tell you if you believe you'll see the glory of God? Dice, Hallelujah. Mujer, yo no te digo a ti, si te... Thank you, Jesus. Come on, interpreter. Tienes que creer. She was worried about the smell. Ella estaba más preocupada por el olor. But when God does a work in you, you ain't gonna smell. You're gonna smell Amen. good. Amen. Pero cuando Dios hace un trabajo en ti, tú no vas a oler. He came out not smelling like a dead man. He came out smelling like a living man. Amen. Cuando él salió de ahí, él no tenía un peste. Huelía bueno como un hombre vivo. He said, didn't I tell you if you will believe, you're gonna see the glory. Amen. Él le dijo, yo no te dije a ti que si tú crees, tú vas a ver la gloria. I said, if you believe, you're gonna see the glory. Si tú crees, tú vas a ver la gloria. If you don't believe, you ain't gonna see the glory. But if you believe, you're gonna see the glory of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Nothing is impossible to him that believes. Nada es imposible para el que cree. She's barren. Ella es estéril. God says no, she's fruitful. Y Dios dice no, ella fructífera. Hallelujah. They say she's barren. God says she's fruitful. Ellos dicen ella es estéril y Dios dice ella es fructífera. And I declare this afternoon be fruitful and multiply. Y yo declaro hoy sea fructífero y multiplicar. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. La preciosa hija. Let's learn a little bit from Mary. Vamos a saber un poco de ella. Aprende un poquito de María. Amen. Here we see in verse 38. Then Mary said, Behold, the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel left her, departed from her. This woman said, listen, I don't know how it's going to happen. Esta mujer dijo, mira, yo no sé cómo va a pasar. But you promised it. Pero tú me lo prometiste. And when God promises something, brother, you don't have to try to figure it out with your little brain. Y cuando Dios te prometa algo, tú no lo tienes que figurar con su mente. If God promises, it's going to come to pass. Si Dios te lo prometió, va a pasar. Don't ask me how. No me preguntes cómo. Because Mary didn't know how either. Porque María tampoco lo sabía. She said, how can this be? Ella dijo, ¿cómo puede ser esto? Oh, I can tell you the power of the highest. Nada más te puedo decir el poder. The power of the highest. El poder. De más alto shall come upon you va a venir sobre ti. with the breath of the Spirit Con el soplo del Espíritu. will bring to pass what God has promised. Va a pasar lo que Dios te ha prometido. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! All you need is one word to change your life. Solamente necesitas una palabra para Everyone say vida. one word. That's all you need, one word from God. Eso es lo único que tú necesitas, una palabra de Dios. One word. Una palabra. Jesus, uh, Peter one time went fishing. Pedro una vez fue pescando. Jesus said, let me borrow your boat. Y Jesús dijo, déjame 
um, usar tu bote. Yeah, he got on the boat. Él se subió en ese bote. Backed it up from the sea. Lo echó para atrás en medio del mar. And began to preach to the multitudes. Y comenzó a predicar a los multitudes. And when he was done preaching. Y cuando se terminó de predicar. He said, all right, boys, now cast the net to the side. Él dijo, okay. Bota sus redes afuera. Peter said, Lord, we fished all night. We haven't caught nothing. Pero dijo, Señor, pero nosotros hemos pescado toda la noche y nada. You know, the disciples were professional fishermen. Los discípulos eran pescadores profesionales. Jesus was a carpenter. Jesús era un carpintero. Not a fisherman. No un pescador. He, you know, he wasn't into fishing. Él no estaba en pescando. But he said, cast your net, boys. Pero él le dijo. Tira tus redes. And Peter said, "Well, we fished all night. We haven't caught nothing. But nevertheless, at your word, at your word, at your word, we're gonna do what you said. Okay, we'll obey what you said." Pedro dijo, "Aunque hemos aquí toda la noche pecando, por su palabra lo vamos a hacer." The Bible says they cast the net. Dice la Biblia que ellos tiraron sus redes. There was so much fish that they caught. Y había tantos pescados. That they needed another boat to come and help them with all this harvest of fish that came in. Que necesitaban otro bote para ayudar a recoger todo ese pescado. And the Bible says both boats were sinking. Y la Biblia dice que los dos barcos comenzaron a hundir. Because of the amount of fish that came into that boat. Por tantos los pescados habían. Why? Because they obey his word. ¿Por qué? Porque ellos obedecieron su palabra. When Jesus says do it, you do it, brother. Cuando Jesús te dice hazlo, lo tienes que hacer. Just obey his word. Solamente tienes que obedecer su palabra. One word can change your life forever. Una palabra te puede cambiar tu vida. Man, prosperity came into that fishing business, praise God. Prosperidad entró en ese negocio de pescado. How many know when you walk with Jesus, he's the Lord who leads you to profit and shows you the way that you should go. Amen. ¿Cuántos de ustedes saben que cuando tú andas con Dios él te, él te enseña cómo prosperar? Yeah, he's the God of prosperity. Amen. Él es un Dios de prosperidad. He's the God that favors you. Él es un Dios que te favorece. When God blesses you, he blesses you. Amen. Cuando Dios te bendice, él te bendice. I said when God blesses you, he blesses you. Cuando Dios te bendice, él te bendice. When God makes a way, brother, no devil can stop it. Cuando Dios hace unas sendas, ningún diablo lo puede parar. Remember Moses in the Red Sea, what did he do? He opened up the whole ocean. Amen. Acuérdate de Moisés en medio de la mar que lo él lo abrió. If God has to open up an ocean for you, He'll do it so you can walk on dry land. Si Dios tiene que abrir una mar para ti, él lo va a hacer para que tú puedas caminar por tierra seca. Because God makes a way where there's no way. Porque sendas Dios hará cuando no hay sendas. You probably don't know what's the way, but God knows the way. He is the way. Quizás tú no sabes cuál forma, pero él lo sabe. All you have to do is trust and obey. Tú solamente tienes que creer y obedecer. I said all you have to do is trust and obey. Tú nada más tienes que confiar y obedecer Just trust and obey Solamente confiar y obedecer That's all you got to do Eso es lo único que tú tienes One que hacer One word from God can change your whole life Una palabra de Dios te puede cambiar la vida He told the disciples remove the stone Él dijo a los discípulos quita esa piedra Lazarus come out Lázaro palante And he who was dead was alive Y él que estaba muerto se hizo vivo Why? Because the resurrection and life spoke. Porque Amen. La resurrección y la vida habló. He said, "I'm the resurrection." Él dijo, "Yo soy la resurrección." I'm the life. Yo soy la vida. And when I speak to death, death has to obey. Y cuando yo le hablo a la muerte, la muerte se tiene que obedecer. There ain't no higher authority than Jesus. Amen. No hay ninguna autoridad más grande que Jesús. Hello. I said there's no higher authority than Jesus. No hay autoridad más grande que Jesús. Jesus has the first word and Jesus has the last word. Jesús tiene la la primera palabra y tiene el último palabra. Hello. I said he has the first word and the last word. Jesús tiene la primera y la última palabra. He's the God who opens doors that no man can shut. Él es un Dios que abre puertas que nadie más lo puede cerrar. He's the God who shuts doors that no man can open. Y él es un Dios que puede cerrar la puerta que no hay ningún hombre que lo pueda abrir. And in 2018, he's gonna open up a door for your life. Y en el año 2018, él va a abrir una puerta en tu vida. And all you're gonna do is say, "Look what the Lord has done." Y tú nada más vas a decir, "Mira lo que hizo el Señor." Hallelujah. Look what the Lord has done. Mira lo que hizo el Señor. God's gonna get all the glory. A Dios le va a dar toda la gloria. 
Let it be to me according to your word, she says. Let it be to me according to your word. Deja que sea acuerdo de, acuerdo de su palabra. And I'm done in five minutes. Y cinco minutos, vamos Hallelujah. Go to the book of Colossians, chapter 1. Libro de Colosenses, capítulo 1. Colossians, chapter 1. You say, where in the world is that? In the New Testament. <laughs> Colossians, chapter 1. Verse 27. Verso 27. Thank you, Jesus. Colossians, chapter 1, verse 27. It says, to them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Cristo en ti, la esperanza de gloria. Now, how does Christ enter you? ¿Cómo puede entrar Cristo en ti? Because over here, the scripture is saying, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Porque esta escritura dice, Cristo en ti, la esperanza de la gloria. The moment you receive him, en el momento que tú lo recibes, that's when he came in. Ahí fue que él entró. The Bible says, behold, I stand at the door and knock. Dice la Biblia, yo estoy aquí, tocando la puerta. If any man opens up the door, si un hombre abre la puerta, I'm going to come in, yo voy a entrar, to him, a él, He's looking to come into you. Él está buscando entrar a ti. The Lord doesn't want to stay outside the house. He wants to come in the house. El Señor no quiere mantenerse afuera de la casa. Él quiere entrar la casa. Imagine someone is knocking on your door. Imagínate si alguien está tocando tu puerta. In your house. De tu casa. And you look through the people. Y tú mira. And you leave them there, standing there for the next two hours. Y tú lo dejas ahí por dos horas. The Lord wants to come in. El Señor quiere entrar. He's knocking. Él está tocando. The door of your heart. De la puerta de su corazón. But you have to open up the door. Pero tú tienes que abrir esa yeah. puerta. And you got to receive him in. Y tú tienes que recibirlo adentro. Once you receive him inside of you. Después que tú lo recibes adentro de ti. If any man's in Christ, he's a new creation. Cualquier hombre que está en Cristo es una nueva criatura. You're born again. Está nacido de nuevo. Jesus came into the womb of Mary. Jesús entró al al vientre de María. He did that. Él lo hizo so that then he can come into you. Para que él después puede entrar a ti. Are you with me? He had to come, be born, die, be raised from the dead, correct? Tenía que venir, hacer nacido, morir y resurrecer. But it all started in the womb of Mary. Pero todo comenzó en el vientre de María. Mary was carrying the Creator. María estaba cargando el Creador. What a privilege. Qué privilegio. Can you imagine you carrying God? Imagínate tú cargando a Dios the one that's holding her a él que lo está que le está man, manteniendo a ella and now she's holding him y ahora ella lo está manteniendo a él because God holds everything together porque Dios mantiene todo junto and now she's holding him y ahora ella lo está cargando she's carrying him ella lo está cargando but he came to live on the inside of her pero él vino para vivir adentro de ella and then he began to grow on the inside of her y después comenzó a crecer adentro de ella and when you receive Christ y cuando tú recibes a Cristo he's inside of you él está adentro de ti then he begins to grow on the inside of you entonces comienza a crecer adentro de ti that's why Paul said in the book of Galatians, I labor until Christ be formed in you. Por eso que dice Pedro, yo laboro por for Christ to be formed para in que you. Cristo se forma adentro de ti. And it says here, Christ in you. Y aquí dice Cristo en ti. The hope of glory. La esperanza de la gloria. Hallelujah. Christ in you. Cristo en ti. The hope of glory. La esperanza de la gloria. Now, watch this and we're going to end with this. 2 minutes. Dos minutos. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. Yes. Hallelujah. Pastor, watch my preaching. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. When you're in New York, when you're from New York, New York, you have the Dominican cab drivers. And when you're there... They, they already heard this. Okay, but I'm telling them again. <laughs> you get a call. Those Dominican cab drivers get another call to go pick someone up. And, and he's like, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. <laughs> what he means is two minutes, but he's saying it real fast. Two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes, two minutes. They're Praise gifted. God. So, so I'm done in two minutes, amen? Dos minutos, vamos, vamos a terminar. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Cristo en ti, la esperanza de la gloria. Now watch this. 
It's the hope of glory. Es la esperanza de la gloria. Once he comes in you, your life changes. Después que él entra dentro de ti, tu vida cambia. But there's a lot of believers that are living, living defeated lives. Pero hay muchos creyentes que están viviendo una vida derrota. Because when Christ came into you, it began the expectation of glory. Porque cuando Cristo entró a ti, comenzó la esperanza de la gloria. Of a new life. De una vida nueva. A glorious life. De una vida de gloria. But that's not enough. Pero eso no es suficiente. Christ in you is not enough. Cristo adentro de ti no es suficiente. You have to be in Christ. Tú tienes que estar en Cristo. Christ in me brings the hope of glory. Cristo en mí trae la esperanza de la gloria. But I in Christ brings the glory. Pero yo en Cristo trae la gloria. And I know some of you don't understand what I just said. Christ in you Cristo en ti opens up a new pathway of life, a higher life. Abre una man, una manera nueva de su vida. But if you don't yield spirit, soul, and body, pero si tú no te rindes espíritu, alma y cuerpo, you're not gonna experience the glory. Tú no vas a experimentar la gloria. When he comes in you, there's hope of that manifestation of glory. Cuando él entra a ti, hay esperanza de la manifestación manifestación de la gloria. But when you in him, pero cuando tú estás en él, you're gonna see the glory. Tú vas a ver la gloria. Hallelujah. How many want to see the glory? Christ in me, the hope of glory. I in Christ brings the glory. And God wants to glorify his name in you and through you. The work begins in you. El trabajo comienza adentro de ti. Flows out of you. Y después fluye de ti. And Jesus wants to manifest on planet Earth. Y Jesús quiere manifestar aquí en este mundo. And it's not gonna be from the heaven down. Y no vas a ser desde el cielo para abajo. It's gonna be from the inside of you out. Vas a ser de adentro de ti para afuera. And this world, hallelujah, is about to see the glory of God. Va a comenzar a ver la gloria de Dios. Because God is calling some of his people amen que Dios está llamando su pueblo to step up higher para levantarse to surrender all para rendir todo that we might be carriers of the glory of God para que podemos cargar la gloria de Dios that we be people that manifest the glory of God que somos gente que hallelujah estamos la gloria de Dios we are containers of the glory estamos eh, manteniendo esa gloria and that glory wants to come out y esa gloria quiere salir People are looking for realities. Gente amen? Están buscando realidades. They're looking to, for real experiences. Están buscando experimentos real. You understand what I'm saying? Religion ain't gonna do it. Religión no lo vas a hacer. If you're religious, you ain't gonna impact nobody. Si tú eres religioso, tú no vas a impactar a nadie. But if you have a relationship with God, pero cuando tú tienes una relación, and you con connect Dios, with God, y tú te conectas con Dios, that glory will begin to come out of esa you. Esa gloria va a comenzar a salir de ti. And people will be to be healed and delivered. You're going to be a carrier of the glory. Amen? Hallelujah. You're going to carry that glory. And people are going to see the glory in your eyes. The glory in your face. Everything you do, they will see the glory of Jesus. Amen? This dying world needs the reality of Jesus. They need to to see Jesus. Ellos tienen que ver a Jesús. Enough talk, time for action. Es suficiente hablar. Ahora es tiempo de actuar. I don't want to preach about healing. Yo no quiero predicar de sanación. I want to experience the healing power Yo of God. Yo quiero experimentar el poder de sanación. I don't want to talk about God is a deliverer. I want to see his delivering hand. Amen. Yo no quiero hablar de un Dios que libera. Yo quiero ver la mano que libera. I don't want to talk about Jehovah Jireh is a provider. I want to see the provisions of God. Yo no quiero hablar de que Dios es un Hallelujah. How many carriers of the glory are in the house? Amen. Listen, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, the Bible says. La gloria de la, de la casa que viene va a ser más glorioso que la casa Stand up to your feet.